ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another 5m tutorial brought to you by rib today we're back in with a bit of code walker and this time i'm going to show you how to delete a actual gta 5 prop that's already in the map so first things first make sure your code walker is set up if you haven't got code walker set up go and watch one of my previous videos how to install and use code walker uh, but at this minute we've got selection we've got our mouse select right click ticked and we've got it on entity so what we're going to do is we're going to open up a project window so we're going to click new up at the top here and we've got this little window here and what we want to do depending on what you want to remove just for the sake of the tutorial is i'm going to remove these bollards so when i've selected any object any entity within the map and move it that will open the y map where this object is contained within the files so this one's called which is heist, I believe is underscore DT on one underscore 19, etc. So what we need to do now it's moved. Let's just go on to the next one and let's delete it. Let's go on to the next one. Let's delete that. Delete. They should all be, I would have thought would have been placed at the same time. So they should be in the same file. Let's delete all them. And let's come back to that one and let's delete it. There we go. And what we want to do now, guys, is we're going to go calculate the extents. Sorry, calculate the flags and then calculate the extents. We're not going to rename this file. We're not going to touch anything to do with this file. If you rename it, it won't work. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and we're going to go save height DT1 as desktop. Do not rename. Make sure it's on the desktop and go save. Happy days. Sorted. What we're going to go do now is we're going to take, we're going to create a resource. So let's call this um, bollards. Bollards. I don't think we need a manifest F, um, manifest with this, just, but just for the sake of the argument, just in case we do, let's go manifest and let's save this as well. Uh, desktop, save. Yes. Okay. Just don't want to miss that out just in case you do need it, but I use that on most builds, so I presume you probably will. Um, but I have known sometimes you don't need it. So we've got our bollards new folder, and inside this new folder, do, do. I'll tell you what, we've already got one built here. Let's just take this. So inside your new folder, you're going to have an FX manifest and you're going to have a stream folder. The FX manifest will say, is this a map? Just a tiny, tiny little bit of code. Uh, re oh, you bloody th Open that again. There we go. Uh, we'll contain this. And let's get out of that. And the stream is where you're going to put your files. Right, so I can delete this and I'm going to put in the height DT19 at STRM. This is the one let's put that in there okay we don't need to do anything else that is all we need let's get this bollards folder did i put the manifest in there stream manifest there we are so you're in there as well right so let's take this resource copy and let's go and put it in my test server resources based Bollards is in there. New. Let's empty my cache. Remember, guys, on every restart, make sure you empty your cache. Or it's just going to be loading older server edits. And let's go to server CFG. Let's just add bollards to anywhere. Start bollards. Hopefully, it's spelt that way. Let's start this up. Start. Okay. Let's open up 5M. Start 5M fresh. Always start 5M fresh if you've been kicked off a server or you've disconnected from a server or you're just going to have issues. You're, quick, you're better off to press an F8, quit and restart. In. It'll be a lot quicker. Okay. Direct connect. Test server is up. Let's go. Let's go and check out a mission row. loads of tutorials to come guys now we're getting more familiar with 3ds max as well i'll be doing quite a few tu tutorials rib style on that try and make them as simple as possible the arcadius jam on to mission row we go and hopefully there'll be no bollards out of them. With a bit of luck. I have used this method a number of times now. I removed all the entities, all the stuff around the car park next to Fleeker Bank for the McDonald's. 
I removed all the entities next to most, most builds now, including the KFC, as you can see across the road. So let's go to time 90. Let's get a bike, car, GSXR. Let's get out of here. KFC, yes, mate. Okay, and as you can see, there are no bollards now next to the steps. Bollards are gone. So that, my friends, is how to remove a prop, an entity from GTA 5 with Code Walker. And I hope it helps. Remember, hit the like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until I see you next time. Peace.